Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Austria in the popular demand mod. So guys, I'm going to have to be speaking just a little bit quieter than usual because as you guys know, this is this is a late night recording. And if you guys don't know what a late night recording means, it means I don't want to wake up my pants before they come and uh, yell at me for recording this late. So got to be a little bit quieter than usual. But anyways, I'll try to keep the same intensity I usually keep for my usual videos, but today we're going to have to be speaking a little bit fast because we're about to explain the final plans for this Let's Play. And as you guys already know, the final plans for this Let's Play was that we are going to invade Germany. And now, I thought that one of the ways I was going to invade Germany was like quickly doing a war against the Netherlands and getting all this convoluted stuff into the mix. Well, it kind of didn't work because... Um, what kind of happened was kind of stupid was that when I added the dismantled nation to the, uh, Netherlands here, you know what happened? I came the no more war, uh, event, which means basically I can't go to war for three more years. So we're basically stuck in this inevitable loop of being here for three more years. So we can't declare war in Germany for like three more years. So what are we going to do in that time? We're going to scheme like proper Victorian two players. We are going to plot and, pl and... We're just going to basically plot our revenge thoroughly and make sure it's the ultimate one to where the Germans are going to feel defeated. Because that's what we want, guys. We want to make sure the Germans are defeated as much as possible and they feel the hurt of the Austrian Empire. Because we are greater than all than Germany and we will prove it to them soon. Anyways, there's a couple ways There's a couple ways that we're going to prove it to them. We're going to prove that the fall of Germany is, is nigh. And the ways we're going to prove it is I have to talk two basic categories. There's going to be the political side of this and the militaristic side of this. I'll get to the militaristic side of it because it gets very, very long. And I'll actually keep this on like speed one. That way the game is passing in the background. So I don't feel too bad about days passing. So there. The days are passing, people. Don't, so don't yell at me if I just like had an entire video that just absolutely nothing happened. The days are passing. It's just they're passing insanely slowly. Anyways. There's two basic things to this whole entire thing, like I just said, political and military. With the political, there are three aspects to this. There is the... Basically, in this war, there's going to be three different theaters of war. There's going to be the Germanic or European theater of war, the African theater of war, and a third theater of war, which I'll reveal later. It'll go with the militaristic side of all this. Don't worry, you guys will get into all this. Anyways, um, with the with the European sphere of war... Sphere of war um. I believe I don't have enough troops right now to fight the Germans. I mean, as much as I want to, you know, kind of pretend I do, in all honesty, with all the troops we have right here, I don't believe it's enough. And honestly, to fight the Germans who are literally, let's see, ledger-wise, let's go to the ledger, go to brigades. Yeah, they're literally the biggest people on the entire map, bigger than the United States even. We're literally going to need an economy that's airtight and super efficient. Well, I mean, troops that are super efficient and airtight. So what that's going to mean is that we're going to need every single troop we, we have from our continent. So that means I'm going to be pulling out of Africa. And that means I'm no longer going to be defending Africa anymore. And I'm basically going to leave this place undefended. But at the same time, I'm not going to leave this place undefended because I thought of a clever... Ooh, troops! What the heck? There's some troops over here. Yay. Yeah, you guys, go back home. Go back home. Dang, I, why'd you guys never tell me there were troops right there? Gosh, you're supposed to be my subscribers. You're supposed to tell me when I do stupid things. Uh, oh, I should also like claim Ghana while I'm on the subject. But yeah, I'm basically going to have to take all my troops from Africa and send them all to the mainland. And this will leave my African colonies undefended. And what I basically decided is that since I can't defend my African colonies, there's no point in having them anymore. And so, wait, 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 I have to do this event. Let me just get this all done with because we're about to get a whole slew of, like, providences from the Netherlands. I mean, we're still not done with... I probably should not have paused this right in the middle of when we were still getting all these, like, Netherlands provinces because this is going to take a long time. By the way, I'm also getting rid of this Bremen's thing right here. This is also annoying. Okay, Brian, yeah, okay. I'm going to decrease relationships with you and the UK. Yeah! Take that, UK! You're no longer as good as you were with that country. I don't know where it is on the map. Where is that country, actually? I, I really don't know. I, I really don't. Is it, is it? I would assume it would be, like, somewhere over here, but it's not. Okay, take that colony. Take that colony. Give it a second, people. This is... I think we're almost done. Uh, no, no, never mind. We still got a long ways to go. It probably would go a little bit quicker if I sped up just a tad bit. Let's just speed this up. 
speed this up. It's almost done the way people and I'll begin my other talking because this is gonna be a lot of talk in today's episode. Uh do, 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 do. there we go. Liberty! Yes, we will send Liberty to Scandinavia. Even though usually when I send Liberty to other countries, they usually never listen to me. I mean, I don't think it's I don't think any other countries listen to me once. I've tried to like give them to give in to democracy, but usually it doesn't work. It's very annoying. It's a very annoying process, like sending all these like highly trained spies to go and do a coup in a country, and they always come back short. I mean, seriously, what the heck, game? You're supposed to let me succeed. Okay, anyways, now that we've got, I'm pretty sure now we have every single piece of land from them. This is really good, because now I'm going to talk about it, and basically what I decide, guys, is I'm going to completely decolonize all my app, all my provinces. Well, I shouldn't say all of them, because I'm going to keep some over here, and I'm going to keep some of my South, my South American provinces, but most of my provinces I'm going to decolonize. And this is honestly a big decision, because that means that we're going to be creating an entirely new base of, like, literally countries everywhere. Um, and a couple of these make really good sense. Like, the reason why I'm abandoning Africa is because, like, I literally cannot defend Africa against Germans. And I believe, honestly, if I can't defend my own land, I might as well make the local populace defend it for me. So we're just going to let the Africans fight Africa for their own right, okay? Which I think is a stoic thing. So... We're going to let them fight Af for Africa, and we're going to be, we're just going to be like, yeah, yay, you guys fought for Africa. Don't forget to give me taxes, but yay, you guys fought for Africa. Okay, that's what basically we're going to do there. That's basically why I want to feed these guys, because I really cannot control my, I really cannot control my colonies. They're just going to be like added war score for the Germans, like easy targets. So we're just going to give this to a gigantic African nation, and we're going to make the biggest African nation we can make, which is the Council of uh, Dahomey. Or Damohi, Damohi, I think it's like Damohi. Uh, it's basically like a 192 province thing, and it basically encompasses all of this. So you could basically imagine this is like basically the biggest African nation ever, and it's going to be insanely powerful. So that's going to be nice. We're also going to free some nations over here, just because like some of these places I didn't realize until later that they're actually like real colonies. And while I could take them as I could take them and keep them as mine. I don't really want this land. And honestly, it's just causing me more problems than it's worth. And then over here in Asia, the only reason why I want to free this land is... Um, this land over here isn't, if I must be honest with you, isn't really that... It's really not that worth it. And honestly, and honestly, um, as much as I love the fact that I took this from the Indonesians, I believe I should give it back to the Indonesians. It's properly belongs to them and so we're going to give it back to them and then the reason why I'm freeing uh, this place is because it's, this is kind of a funny story so I just thought that this looked so much like this this was going to be so funny so I just thought that um that if we freed this nation which we would not free Formosa we would free nationalist China and what I think would happen what I'm thinking guys is if Beijing ever had a national revolt and the nationalist Chinese took over um the national, all of China would basically become our puppet state. So, we as Austria, who barely have a population of 60 million, would own an entire country with a population of around 107 million. And that's only able-bodied able men. The population is probably close to like a, like 500 million or something like that. Something crazy. So, I thought that was hilarious if we would do that. And then freeing Korea, well... If I'm not, I don't really have much use to it. I'm not really protecting it either. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm freeing them too. So we're just going to start this massive freeing of nation stuff. I can kind of remember off the bat of my head of what nations we're going to free and what nations we're not going to free. Of course, there are a ton of nations that we're going to free. And it's going to be quite difficult. But I really do feel like I'm doing something good right now. Like, I'm doing this, I'm freeing a lot of nations way, way before the, any of the other, like, Europeans ever did let's free this nation. Uh, we I do want to do this in a certain order though because wait let me free this nation because no I don't want to free that yet because like there is one thing I want to do and I bet you guys didn't think I remembered but look I didn't put this part in the entire council of De of Dalamoni or Demoy because I wanted this to become a stupid state before I left. This colony had basically become Southern German, Austrian, whatever you want to call it, and it's mine. And I wanted it, 
And so that's the reason why we didn't release the big gigantic nation before now. Now we can release it into its own. Look at that. 134 province. The Council of Des Moines. Boom! And look at that power, guys. Just look at this. Their population is already at 12 million. They're already a superpower, and they haven't even really begun the game. All right. And now for all these other countries, I had to figure out what nation belongs over here. Okay, this is Burgdia. Um, let's see. Okay, I know I'm going to have to leave Somalia land, so let's get Somalia land. Sudan, I'm going to have to leave Sudan. Um, let's see. Where is Bungada? Yeah, some of these, again, some of these nations are really hard to find. Also, I'm also going to release Liberia, just because I don't really like that little tiny state right in the middle of my country. It's kind of weird. No offense, but it is kind of weird having that little tiny state right there. Uh, there it is. Release nation. Let's see, is there any other nations I need to release? No. And then, when I add the dismantle nation button for the Germanic Empire, I'm hoping with these three colonies, I'll be able to just basically take everything and maybe make another African gigantic nation down here. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be really awesome if I could. So, yeah, there's our first plan. Wait, what does this constitute as? Oh. Wait. This is not... Oh. Well, this is kind of awkward. Now I have one province in the middle of... Can I just sell this off to them, please? I don't really want it. You guys can have it back. <laughs> oh, but anyways, guys. So now that we got all that freed up, we basically got into my first step of the plan, which was I wanted to free up Africa. So now they'll start making all these like massive amount of troops, and when when I'm ready to call them into a war, they'll be ready. Like they'll be ready. So I'm gonna be really happy when that happens. The next part of the plan is I need to open up the fronts on Germany. Because as you guys know, we are going to be invading Germany a lot. And so I actually, with this special occasion, I actually invented a map. Okay, guys? But before we get to the map, we have to decide, I have to tell you guys that before we get to the map, I think I'm going to have France join our little alliance. Because I feel like if we add France into our alliance, with the combined efforts of the French, who want revenge against the Germans for taking the outer Slovene region, Austria, Ukraine, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Spain, and all of us together, we would be able to take on the Germans, which is my ultimate goal, okay? We want to take on the Germans as fast as possible and then kill them as fast as possible. And then we also, just because I got tired of the last war, remember guys, remember the last war where we had like a little problem with our Sicilian allies who couldn't like actually join us because they had Italy on the side? Well, Italy is going to drop from being a great power here very, very soon. It's going to it's going to be a little bit because, you know, they're staying up right now. But just give it a little bit. They'll be dropping from great power in this very, very soon. And once they drop, we're going to do a add puppet <laughs> to them. And basically take them over as a puppet that way that these troops can get over here. And then we also get Italian troops also coming into war. So basically what I'm planning on is all of these guys to join the war against the Germans. I'm also probably going to include Belgium into this, which is going to be awesome. Now, how are we actually going to get into this war? Because I bet you guys are probably wondering that. Well, we're going to get into this war by a little thing called alliances. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to call it one of Germany's allies. I bet you guys can't guess which one. Uh, give you give you a guess a guess which one you're gonna choose five four three two one we are gonna choose the Nam to invade all right we're gonna attack the Nam for like some petty reason probably like dismantle constructions just so we can get as quickly as possible and then from there we're gonna fight the German army without them having the other people join in like Scandinavia Occitania well those are actually the only two I really do care about. At least join in at the very beginning. I'll probably actually Portugal will probably join my side because I'll be they'll think that we're only fighting like a little tiny nation of Denam, but then once the Germans join in, they'll be like, oh shoot, we have to fight our German allies. And they'll be like, No, the Austrians deceived us. I'll be like, We didn't deceive you guys. You guys just wanted to go fight the Germans. That's what we tell you at least. Okay, but anyways, um basically from there from there guys. We're going to basically invade, and from there we're basically going to invade Germany. And this is where I was trying to keep the maps hidden, because I actually did a map invasion, guys. Look at this, I haven't done a map in a while, and you guys deserve to see the German invasion! Boom! Alright, so it isn't as impressive as usual maps, but I did a heck of a lot more detail than my usual maps. So basically, guys, 
What I'm planning on doing is having my troops right here, my troops of the blue, and the green of my allies. So in terms of what's going to happen, I believe in this war that's going to happen in like a couple years, is basically like this. I'm going to hold the line right here. I'm just basically going to try to hold my line right here and not even worried about over here in Poland. You know why? Because I believe that once the Ukrainians come in to go fight against Germany, I believe they're basically going to send all the troops over here and are basically fighting all the Germans over here. So I don't really need to defend this. I just need to make sure they hold this line to make sure that we can move in. And basically, in the beginning of the war, what I'm thinking is that France and Belgium will be cannon fodder. Like, they're just going to be completely overrun by the massive Germanic army, and the Germans will move up into about this point. Probably a blitzkrieg, if you would say. But the problem is, is that once the French realize that they actually have to fight this war, and the Belgians realize they have to actually fight this war, they'll actually mobilize, and then they'll just push the Germans back to over here. And when that push comes, we're going to be bombarded by a lot of troops right here. Don't get me wrong, people. We're going to get bombarded. But once that push comes, we're going to invade this part and just push them back into this point. And by then, what I'm hoping is that I'll have enough CB to dismantle the nation, also free Occitania from their wrath, and create my new Austrian-Hungarian empire. But if the Germans somehow, if the Dismantle Nation button actually adds in more allies, I actually have, a, I actually have an Occitania invasion too. So boom. Yeah. If we were to be a world war with uh, Germany, most likely what would happen is that once we did Dismantle Nation, all of our troops would mostly be on these two borders, and it'd be very hard for us to move in. And the Occitanians would probably take advantage of that and move in in both directions of both me and France and Spain. Spain would probably be the most affected because they don't have a lot of troops in the beginning and they'd probably get the most hurt by this. But what I believe is what's going to happen is eventually the Spanish would get to act together and eventually push them back and the French would eventually get to act together and push them back and I would get my act together definitely and push them back and we would eventually pinch them up and basically destroy them if we really need to. And then, of course, the invasion of Italy isn't really going to be that hard. I'm just going to stack up multiple amount of troops on the border and then just go destroy them. So, yes, that is the next three years we are going to be doing. So, this is going to be ironclad. So, let's see. Let's reopen up all of our factories because now what I realize, guys, is that we're going to be making a ton of money. Yeah, look at that. And with that ton of money, we can actually, like, fully support our military first off, which is something I really want to do. Fully support our military. And then, like, how much are we paying on subsidies right now? Not very much. But we can now fully support our military, which is what I really like. Um, we can actually bring this up again because now I can. I have to make sure that all my spheres of influence aren't being influenced by some stupid people. Uh, we're going to ban the embassy of the Germans. I don't really want the Germans to be an issue. And make sure I'm doing all the important states. Yes, I am. Let's see. Is there anyone else that's really messing with my spheres of influence? No, all everyone else is basically fine. I don't really care about the best. <laughs> Must be honest with you. All right, well, let's begin the game again. And let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing I have to do, which is change all these encouraged craftsmen buttons to make soldiers. Because right now, guys, we really don't need any more. Um, we really don't need any more like uh, uh, craftsmen or anything like that. Since I'm not gonna be in this business long enough to do that. Uh, we need soldiers. We need tons of soldiers. Because I believe that is the thing that's been keeping us back this entire Let's Play. Is the fact that we didn't have enough manpower or enough reserves to build anything. And stop building those tanks. They're not going to be built. Okay. So we're just going to focus on military. All military. We're going to start building up new units to start combating the German menace. Because we have to start thinking about lines and stuff. And where the lines going to be. Let's make our six artillery there. Two more, let's build two artillery there, build more artillery there. Pretty sure that's about even. Wait, 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 wait. That's not even just yet. We also have to include some um, engineers. Yeah, get some engineers in there. And we also include some horsemanry. And I didn't realize this, people. One, two, three, four. But we can also build planes. Dude, guys, we can build planes. So let's build some planes too. And there we go. That's going to be my army that's going to meet in Geyser, I think. And this is actually an army that met in Geyser. And we're actually going to combine all these guys over here. All the armies that I have are all going to combine over here. And basically make a gigantic army so that we can, we can sprinkle this out. You guys over here, combine right here. We're going to get all of our troops from Africa. And we're going to go send them around. Okay. 
And let's see, is there any other ships? You guys right here. You guys me right there. You guys go over here. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time in the next Austrian Conquest.